Hey crafties, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 6 DIY week. Today I'm going to be making a Christmas tree, yeah, a fabric Christmas tree. And I have this, those fabrics um, pre-cut, they are 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. I have uh, about 3 to 4 colors and then I have my embellishments and then there is very cone. Yeah, so in this cone comes different sizes. I just decided to use this smaller one, but you may choose any one you like depending on what you like. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is to cover up the bottom like so with this very fabric. Um, you can make it a, a second fi fabric if you like to, but I just decided to use this very square fabric to cover it up. And I'll be using my pins to pin them down like so okay so it's really uh, this is the first thing you, you, you need to do in order to start up with the project so after this since I I had uh, my fabrics uh, pre-cut so it, it makes it quite easier to to work on So guys, after pinning down, the next thing to do is to start with my fabrics. So it all depends on the design you want in order to know the color to start first. So I will be starting with this red fabric. Fold it like so. You fold it into two, into two, yeah. So look at the, I repeated it such that you can understand what I'm doing then. So this, you have to like place it down, down like so, and then you pin it in the, this way, the two sides like so. Yeah, I believe me looking, you can you understand what I'm doing. So guys, let me leave you guys to keep watching and you understand really what I'm doing. <laughs> So basically I'll be placing it side by side all the way around as you can see from the video So I'm done with the first row, so in between I'll be placing the second fabric, which is the green color, I'll be placing it down like so, pin it down like so, always the pointed what has to be down, the pointed edge of the fabric is always placed down like so. So I'll be going it, I'll be doing this round like the way I did the formula in the first step. As I said earlier, the square measure is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So 
you want you can make it three inches but i think that is big for me for my size of cone so that is why i'm going by this measurement okay as you can see i'm done with the second row like so so i'll be going to the um placing it in between just keep watching as in Oh, when you focus on what I'm doing, you understand better. So this is what I'm placing in between and then going like so. This is what I'll be doing all around. Pin it down like so. You place in between them. And then you keep going, you keep building and going and going higher. <laughs> so guys this is how it looks as at this moment and it's quite easy and and the fun project to try out too Okay guys, when you get when you keep getting to the end of the cone, you, you, this the number of the fabrics you use will stay reduce in size. You know, so as you can see, it's coming two two by two two fabrics I and mean, two fabrics by two fabrics. You know, until you get to the top, and then uh, I'll do this and then I'll just cover it up with a. Uh, Fabric. So you can see why I covered it. Um, just wrapped it around like so and pinned it in place. All 
right guys well we are almost coming to the end of the project as you can see it is really beautiful and the good thing about it is that it's really easy to make and really fun to try out so guys if um, you have watched up to this very time up to this very point i want to use this opportunity to appreciate you guys um, for watching and to hope that i'll see you in my next um, video for my old for the subscribers thank you for your support and your love i keep appreciating you guys because you are amazing so this is it you can embellish it with anything at all it depends on your likes you have so many things to embellish them with and if like for the glitter i use um glitter to like to to cover it up you know and i had to use a white glue first before covering it with um, some glitters so it really depends on what you want for your project so this is it and um, it's really beautiful as you can see and I also made a pineapple uh, a pine um, shape I'll be showing you guys the, the clip it really turned out beautiful as well so I hope you can try it out and then let me know in the comment section below if you like this very project and yeah thank you again for watching and um, I wish you Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year okay guys keep watching Here is the other project. Look at the way it looks. I added this very embellishment and then the cherry, everything you know, in there. <laughs> it's really, really cute, as you can see. Yeah, I made about two of them with the same color fabrics. So, I look at the way it turned out. Wow, I'm loving those. So, guys, from here, I'll be saying bye and God blessings to you all. Love you all.